Good, good afternoon, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny down in the lower level. I thought I would show you the books that I have recently acquired at our local library used bookstore, The Book Nook. As you know, what's today? Today is a Saturday. It is, I think, the 19th. And Carol and I, my wife and I, we volunteered last Monday and Friday. And these are the books that I picked up. Now, my wife picked up other books, but these are the books that I got. And I will show them to you. I won't go into great detail about them. I just want to show them before we go into the new week. I picked up this book yesterday, Minding My Own Business, an autobiography of Percy Murr. I got this book because one of the books I picked up last Monday was this book. And it's called Company We Kept by Barbara K. Mrs. Percy Murr. See that? And this is her husband, Percy Murr. And they were uh, antiqu antiquarian book sellers in London for, oh, I say during the 30s and 40s. I don't know how long they were. he was in business, Percy Murr. But these are like biographies, autobiographies of the book trade, uh, antiquarian book dealers and the whole business of and going in about people who collected antiquarian books and uh, the book trade and publishing there in the in England during the 30s and 40s and I don't know if it goes into the 50s but I picked this one up yesterday and I picked up this one last Monday there's a third volume called Second Impressions which I might get so I got those at the book nook I picked up at the book nook mon last Monday Port Noise Complaint by Philip Roth I had this in my library and I could not find my copy and so I bought this copy at the book nook to add to my Philip Roth collection and then I picked up a novel by Ian P Pears Arcadia I collect his novels. I did not de-haul any of them. I would show them all to you, but it's like six I have. Uh, he's most famous for his novel, The Instance of the Finger Post, uh, Stone's Fall, The Portrait. I collect him. I didn't have this one in my Ian Pears collection. This is a book that, a kind of children's fantasy that I remember used to watch um, on television, The Wind in the Willows by Kena, uh, Kenneth Graham. This little photo of the frog. You remember it, when the kids were growing up, we used to watch an animation, uh, Wind on the Willows, and I've always loved it, and I love the little illustrations in here. It's a really old book. It was published in 1933. It's a really old edition. And then I picked up Grace Pelly Reader Stories, Essays, and Poetry. I had her collected stories, which I de-hauled, but I picked this up at the book nook. Grace Pelly or Polly Pelly Reader Stories, Essays, and Poetry. Edited by Kevin Bowen and Nora Pelly. So I picked that up. And then I picked up uh, Madeline Albright's uh, memoir, Plague and Winter, Personal Story of Remembrance in the War, 1937 to 1948. She was Secretary of State under the uh, my mind just went blank. I just can't remember. Can't remember. Uh, 
my mind just went blank. Anyway, she was Secretary of State under, I can't remember the president now, my mind just went blank. So I picked this up because I like memoirs and I like this time period. I want to know more about it as far as history. Uh, but I can't remember who the president was. That's some surprise. My mind is just slipping. Here's another book on book books on books: The Pleasures of Philophilia, Fifty Years of the Book Collector. The Book Collector was a journal devoted to book collecting. Book collector, collector. This is an anthology I picked up at the Book Nook. And uh, so, yeah, I picked that up. This is another book on books, Yankee Bookseller by Charles E. Goodspeed, uh, being the reminiscence of Charles E. Goodspeed. He was a bookseller, and this is his remembrances, his looking over his life and the things that he remembers. and. It has, it has like chapters, prints in bookshop, catalog and comments, morning hours, this willing buyer to the willing seller, just about the book business and being a bookseller. And this is another book on books and books, Books and Bitters by S A S W. Rajenbach, he was a very famous antiquarian books seller, uh, very famous. I have his biography and other books by him. Books and Bitters and Adventures of a Bibliophile by A.S.W. Rockenbach. Uh, this was published in 1927. So I picked this up. Here's another book on books, book collecting, bibliophiles, people who's booksellers, the whole business. Uh, Carousel, I think it's Carousel for bibliophiles, a treasury of tales, narratives, and epigrams and sundry curious studies relating to a noble theme. Edited with introduction by William Targa. And I think this is a bunch of uh, essays or articles by other bibliophiles and people in the book business and book collectors and antiquarian booksellers. This was published in, this was an old book too. This is 1947. So I picked this up. I picked this book up yesterday, Books in Black and Red, by Edmund Lester Person. He was another bookseller, had a bookstore, sold books. It's all about the book business and collecting books and selling books and bibliophiles and bookstores and libraries and things like that. I also picked this book up yesterday, another book on books. This one is A Book Hunter's Holiday Adventures with Books and Manuscripts, also by A.S.W. Rajenbach. So I picked this up. So I got all, you know, as I said, uh, last year a couple of boxes of books came into the book nook about book collecting and book collectors and booksellers and an aquarium and catalogs and all. and these are the rest of them there might be more I might see at the August friends of library used book sale I like reading about I'm not really a book collector I don't I'm more into just collecting just ordinary literature I'm not into first editions but I like reading about book about books book selling book printing book making people who love books people who sell books, people who search for rare books, about manuscripts and prints and publishing and editors and writers. I just like the whole thing about books. And that's why I bought these. It's not because I'm some kind of bibliophile who's looking for 
some rare first edition of Shakespeare or Samuel Johnson or anything like that. I just like reading about books and the history of books and the publishing of books and people who love books. I just like the whole thing. This is not, this is a book, I collect books on the atomic bomb. This is picturing the bomb, photographs from the secret world, the Manhattan Project by Rachel Furman and Esther Samar. Yeah, I collect books on the atomic bomb and the making of the atomic bomb. And so it's all these photos about the Manhattan Project, which was the making of the atomic bomb there before the Second World War and it was dropped on Hiroshima and they might have photos of it in here being tested. Let me see here. Let's see if they have any photos. There's a picture of it being dropped from the sky. So I picked that up. What else? I picked this book up yesterday. Shanghai Grand Forbidden Love International Intrigue in the Doomed City by Tarsa Grisco. This is based on the New York writer who was uh, stationed in Shanghai before, oh, I don't know, around the 20s or 30s. Uh, Emily Han. She was a very prolific writer. She wrote for the New Yorker for, I don't know, at least 50 years. And this is about her time in Shanghai and that whole world before, around the Second World War, around that whole time. It's like, it's like a biography, but also about what Shanghai was like. And goes, I had this in my library, No Hurry to Get Home, a memoir of the New Yorker writer whose unconventional life and adventures spanned a 20th century by Emily Hahn. And she's a major figure in this, and this is why I picked this up. So that's uh, what I got at the book nook. And as far as what I've been reading today, I don't know, I was reading that Reformation commentary on chapter 13 of the Gospel of John today and uh, writing in my diary and uh, just dozing <laughs> and just getting probably get through the day. So I thought I'd show you all these books. Like I said, I'm really into, this is uh, Rosenbach, Rosenbach, a Book Hunter's Holiday. I just like reading these kinds of books. Like I said, uh, I've lived my life in libraries and bookstores and used book sales and thrift stores. I'm just into books. That's all I'm really into. Well, I am into the book, the Holy Bible. And like I said, I was reading on John chapter 13 today, uh, meditating on that, which is about the, the foot washing. Uh, chapter 13, now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and the supper being ended, the devil having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son to betray him, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand, hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, rose from the supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself and that he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wiped them with the towel with which he was girded. So I was reading that in the Gospel of John chapter 13 today. Also, you know, I mentioned that book on early church history, Fathers of the Primitive Church. Uh, I got, this is a very famous uh, set, uh, Parent Parentology by Johannes Corsten. This is the Christian classic reprint. This is, uh, volume one is on the beginning of patristic literature from the Apostles of Creed to Ursanus. And then you have chap 
uh, volume two, the anti anti Anasian literature after your sinus. And then you have volume three, the golden age of Greek patristic literature, uh, Panthrology by Johannes, Johannes Korstein. This is a set, I bought this in seminary, at some seminary bookstore. I don't, I don't think I've ever even read them, <laughs> but I bought them like almost 40 years ago, I bought these, maybe 40, yeah, 40 years ago. But it's a classic set, so if you're into them, check them out. It's a very famous reference work on the early patristics, the early fathers. So I got it out to look at for this afternoon. So I hope you're having a good weekend. This is a Saturday. It is going on five, uh, four o'clock here in West Michigan. It has been raining, it's kind of humid. And I've been writing in my diary, wandering the, my cell, praying for the Holy Spirit to give me the grace to keep, keep going. So I hope that uh, you're having a good weekend. Thank you for the many comments. And if you got any questions about these books, also, you can you can if you want to live a list of them. I'll put a list below. You can also read my online diary, Crooked Fingers, where I list the books. And yeah, so once again, thank you for your many comments. I also have been noting I've been getting comments in my email, but I don't see them below my video. So I'm trying to answer those. I copy off the comments from my email. So. Uh, so I'll sign off, and until next time, bye.